The power of agency. This is a psychological concept that I absolutely love and adore. And it also has merged together my love of business and my love of um, talking about getting to higher levels of consciousness, raising your life force. So the power of agency in the context here is really equivalent to um, getting yourself to higher levels of consciousness. So I'm laughing because I have my, uh, my we, we planned a birthday party for my eldest daughter and my granddaughter did the decorating. And so that banner says, it's my day. I love that. Anyway, that's the remnants of the family party. So back to the power of agency. So um, the power of agency in this context is about raising yourself to these higher levels of consciousness. Agency is what allows you to pause, evaluate, and act when you are facing a challenge, not overreact, um, but to handle it head on and come up with the best solutions. Agency is about being active rather than passive or reacting effectively to immediate situations and planning effectively for your future. Um, if you become too overwhelmed, you tend to lose your agency or your higher levels of consciousness, right? Um, and um, you want to reflect on the challenges and opportunities that you are confronted with and then get into making creative decisions and ways and act in ways that open up possibilities for a meaningful life on your own terms. I mean, this is my quest. I love this stuff. So these guys, Paul Knapper and Anthony Rao, wrote this book called The Power of Agency. And so a lot of what I'm saying and paraphrasing from the book, and I will give some of my uh, own words, but in simple words, they're saying agency is what humans have always used to feel in command in their lives. No more being on autopilot. I mean, when you think about it, when we, how many things we just do, we don't know why we're doing them. We don't know the voice inside of us. We don't know you know, who's in charge basically. So getting off of autopilot. So um, Paul Knapper and Anthony Rao are leading consultants and clinicians uh, who both have held academic uh, positions at Harvard Medical School. And they define agency as, ready? I love this. The ability to act as an effective agent for yourself, reflecting, making creative choices and constructing a meaningful life. How beautiful is that? I'm going to say it again. The ability to act as an effective agent for yourself, reflecting, making creative choices and constructing a meaningful, meaningful life. I mean, just gorgeous, just beautiful, um, really, really, really powerful stuff. So a couple of couple of concepts from the book. Um, of course, I have notes and all highlighted like crazy. Um, but um, so basically, it seems that those who are more confident more of the time are the ones who are feeling in charge of their life and are connected to that sense of agency or have, um, you know, uh, worked on getting to higher levels of consciousness. They report less anxiety, less overwhelm, even when placed under highly challenging and high pressure situations right so that was it for these guys they said this was their eureka moment it wasn't just that less people that less anxious people felt more confident but that the confident itself fended off anxiety and moments of overwhelm really powerful so the sympathetic nervous system right which ignites uh fear and aggression uh, is where the, the brain perceives that threat. And the parasympathetic is a uh, sympathetic nervous system, which returns the mind back to calm. Uh, they are working in this kind of roller coaster seesaw, seesaw kind of way, unless you can raise your levels of consciousness or raise um, or have that power of agency, okay? Um, focusing on building agency rather than trying to reduce anxiety um, per se, let the stronger sense of the power, the confidence in the agency put stresses in their proper perspective rather than primarily trying to alleviate the symptoms of stress. I love this stuff. 
So instead of saying, well, how do I get out of this mess? The bottom line is if you were cultivating higher levels of consciousness and you were cultivating power of agency, you wouldn't be in the perceived mess. Um, so really, really cool stuff. Low agency people tend to be in that near constant state of fight or flight. Their sympathetic nervous systems are always on high alert. Um, they're anything but calm, anything but confident. And then you want to practice literally flipping the switch from flight or fight to calm and confident from parasympathetic to I mean, from sympathetic to parasympathetic. And there's lots of ways that you can do this. Breathing, focusing on your breath, doing the Vipassana meditation, which is literally breath meditation or doing breath work is one of the ways you can almost automatically. So when these situations arise, just take that moment, take that deep breath. And that is going to, to, uh, to balance out your sympathetic, switch you over from the sympathetic to the um, parasympathetic. When? All the time. So you wanna just throughout your day, remember to be breathing, focusing on your breath.